My story is just, uh, it's one of many. You know, it's, uh, it ain't necessarily special, but it's mine. My first major sort of TV job was uh, a show called Gideon's Crossing that I did in, in, in 2000. Fortunate enough to do this great show called Playmakers. He was finished because he lost us the damn game! The one I'm probably most proud of was a show that I did for six seasons called Grimm. You can't do him any good right now. I'm not staying here. I did Fences with, uh, with Denzel and Viola. You can't change me, Pop. I'm 34 years old. If you wanted to change me, you should have been there when I was growing up. Did a movie called The Hate You Give. You, your brothers, your mother are my reasons to live and die. You know, this, the skills that I learned here that I find most of use, it's a lot of the Shakespeare training. When you start with Shakespeare work, it's allowing the words to work. When you talk about enunciation, projection, uh, you know, all of that was a part of the voice and speech work. You know, when I was working on the character Lincoln Rhyme Hunt for the Bone Collector, uh, he's a quadriplegic. All you can do is really work from the words. He didn't send a letter to the department, he sent it to me. You know, the beautiful thing about actors with theater training is that they can put the nose on or they can take it off. You can be a clown if you need to, you can be dramatic, you can be funny, you can be a leading man, or you can be a character actor because you have the talent and you have the tools. When I came upon my junior year, one of the professors, uh, teachers here, Judy Braha, had just started. She really like looked me dead in the eye and she says, I think you're skating a little bit and if you work harder you'll get more and I think you can do that and I'm gonna challenge you to do that and she did. She left the greatest mark on me while I was here. Her, her challenge, her charge to say I want more out of Russell Hornsby.